Hey everybody, I'm Dave. This is Book Blather, and this is just a quick intro video to uh, tell you what this channel is about. Okay, so I was first turned on to BookTube a couple of years ago. I didn't even know BookTube existed. And I was looking for, um, I used to, I like to watch uh, watch uh, something on my iPad at night to help me like decompress and fall asleep. And if I watch shows, I get too engaged. So keep me awake. So I, I, I was looking for stuff on YouTube that I could really like relax and start to fall asleep to. And I started watching these, I read a lot of comics. So I started watching these videos of people showing their comic collections. And that started leading to video recommendations of people reviewing comics. And so I was watching those, and that started leading to video recommendations of people um, reviewing books. And I was like, well, this, this is pretty cool. And I started to get some good book recommendations this way. And um, I discovered BookTube. And uh, I, got, I, I started following a lot of different BookTubers, um, and it really really reignited my love of reading. Um, so I subscribed to a bunch of different ones and based on the stuff that I like, I guess, um, you know, it, it was most of the booktubers that I was watching happened to be um, very young, well-read women. And so a lot of the book recommendations I were getting was, was um, you know, YA and fantasy and, um, and uh, got a lot of good recommendations this way. Um, but, um, you know, I followed a, a bunch of those booktubers that I really liked, you know, like um, Megan Peruse um, of her Peruse Project and Gabby, Gabby Reads and Elliot Brooks and Emily Fox and a bunch of people like that, that, um, and a lot of it tend to be the same kind of stuff, you know, a lot of YA, a lot of fantasy, um, you know, some sci-fi and horror things, and um, and and they 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 all read other things as well and review other things as well. But um, that just that tended to be a lot of that kind of thing. And although I like that stuff, I do like to read some very different kinds of things sometimes too. And so. Um, you know, I did, uh, you know, for an, an instance, another booktuber I follow is, um, uh, Simon over at Savage Reads, and he recommends very different kind of stuff. I, in fact, I, I, I believe the only type of thing that he doesn't like is fantasy, actually. So he, um, he, he reviews very different kinds of books that are totally of a different style. Reads, a, um, for UK base, he's often reviewing, often reviewing books that are, um, you know, being considered for the Man Booker Prize and things like that. Um, and I've got a lot of good recommendations from him, very different types of things that sometimes I wouldn't even normally read myself. So um, so while I do like to read a lot of like um, fantasy, dystopian, etc., I do like to read a lot of these up. And so I got to thinking, um, you know, I've got a lot out of BookTube for a few years now, and maybe I should start a channel for people like me. You know, like a middle-aged guy that a lot of the time likes to read fantasy, sci-fi, dystopian, horror, uh, YA, but also a lot of the time likes to read some various other very different things. And so it could be not, not just for people like me, hopefully it'd be a channel for everybody that everybody would be interested in, but um, so uh, it seemed to make sense, so. So I decided to start this channel. And um, so I'm be filming it from this room, which is I sometimes call my study. It's, uh, it's like a little, little reading nook where I have all my books. And um, I'll pan out for a second so I can show you it. So that, yeah, this is my study or man cave or whatever you want to call it. But um, this is where I have all my books and comics and things and where I'll be doing the videos from. Um, uh, these shelves, I built these shelves from scratch when I moved in and uh, it took me a long time to find just the right chair but uh, as you can see there's my reading chair that I inherited, my table for my tea and books, got my little reading light over here and um, <clears throat> so this is it. 
Um, this is kind of like my little uh, my little reading nook where where things happen. So that's it. I was actually gonna originally gonna uh, call this um, channel the 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 book nook, but you know there's like forty of those, so um, I decided to call it uh, book blather because nobody had that one, and that's what I'll be doing. I'll be blathering about books. So, so how am I gonna be doing it? Um, content. Um, like I said before, a lot of it will be uh, fantasy, sci-fi, horror, dystopian, some YA, but there will be other, there will also be other types of fiction, very different kinds of fiction. Um, there will also be some nonfiction. Uh, a lot of, I get interested in a lot of different things, um, you know, I, and I have a couple bookshelves full of nonfiction stuff. Um, you know, science, philosophy, even some, you know, history, religion, politics. Um, so um, randomly I'll be reading different um, um, nonfiction things. You know, last year I got interested in, in octopus for some strange reason and I read a couple octopus books or um, um, uh, octopuses or octopi, whatever the plural is. Uh, I read a couple book, uh, books on that. You'd think if I read a couple books on that, you'd think I'd know what the plural form is. But uh, uh, anyway, I read a few couple of books on octopuses last year. Um, so uh, I'll be reading various nonfiction books like that. Um, also, I read a lot of comics. Um, so a lot of times I have a lot of, um, you know, a lot of times they'll, they'll be graphic novels that I'll be reviewing, full-length graphic novel. Um, but um, I also read a lot of single issues. Now, obviously, I'm not going to review a single comic issues, um, but, you know, usually they're um, in, you know, the way the comics work is that they're usually in story arcs. They're typically six issues that then get put into graphic novel form or trade paperback form, technically they call it. Um, and but usually six issues, sometimes four or five. Um, but um, so if I review, if I read individual comics, I will review them only upon, you know, when I've completed a whole arc. Um, and so the same way that it would be appearing in a graphic novel. Reviews. I intend to be totally honest about stuff. Um, and a lot of people don't want to say to things that are too negative. Um, if a book sucks, I'm going to say it sucks. Um, you know, the way I'm going to rate stuff basically is kind of the way I rate it on Goodreads. So the Goodreads doesn't let you really do half stars, right? I didn't figure out how to do it yet anyway. Um, but, uh, you know, generally I'm rarely going to give something, um, five stars. There's got to be something really special about that book. Um, either it's got to be, it has to be an incredible story that like you, you know, you, it's so addictive, like you can't put it down. Or it has to be, you know, it's got to be great prose, um, makes really good use of, you know, literary devices and metaphors, alliteration, all that kind of stuff. Or, or it has to do something like really clever, you know, like um, real, real clever use of, um, um, you know, symbolism and perspective and things like that. Like I really value those things in, in, in uh, books too. So um it, it can be different things but there does have to be something special to the book for me to give it five stars i think last year i think there was i read i don't i don't know 20 books or something and i gave only three um five stars so um if a book's like really good um you know pretty good i'm gonna give it it's gonna be more in the four star range um if the book's just decent it's gonna be like in the three star range if a book um kind of sucks i'm gonna typically give it two stars i um, mean you know, i never really give anything a one star one star has to be like just like so horrible that it has like no redeeming qualities whatsoever and it's gonna make me like dnf it but like i never like dnf books just because they're bad I, I i usually muscle through there's there's some some redeeming quality to it so um but that's generally how I'm going to, uh, you're usually not going to see a one from me and rarely we'll see fives, but that's generally how I'm going to, how I'm going to rate them. Uh, length of the videos, um, that's going to depend. I, I think um, my, my plan is to do monthly wrap-ups, basically. 
I'm going to start with this month we just finished, October, just because I want to do them. I mean, I've read a lot of books this year, but I want to do them like when they're fresh in my head. So I'm going to just going to start with the month that just ended. I'll be posting an October wrap up pretty shortly after this video. Um, and then, um, you know, so I don't know how long those will take, but I think the videos will take, they'll go on a little bit for a while. Again, just because that's the kind of videos that I like to watch. Um, and so I'm, I'm kind of gearing it towards people that are kind of like me, you know, I like to, um, for example, one booktuber that I follow is, is, um, uh, Jesse the Reader and, um, he's awesome. He does a great job. It's really funny. Um, good reviews. I mean, I, I really like his videos. Um, but I, I, I don't watch too much of his stuff anymore just because they're too short. Um, you know, sometimes they're a couple minutes, um, 10 minutes, 12 minutes, whatever. Um, and that's for me, that's kind of too short because I watch these videos when I'm like relaxing and decompressing at night and kind of trying to fall asleep a little bit. So, um, those videos just aren't long enough for me. So, um, mine will tend to be a little more longer, a little longer in terms of, you know, types of books, the types of videos that I like to watch. So how, I don't know, it depends how many books I read each month, how long those videos will be, but we'll, we'll, I will see how it goes. If people actually watch, start watching these videos and it makes sense for me, I, I might go back and re, you know, I, they're all tracked on Goodreads. So I might go back and I can see what I did for other months and try to review a bunch of those too. But we'll see if anybody actually watches. The yeah, most important thing is uh, is about my co my well, probably occasional co-star. Um, this um, this is Olive. Uh, she is actually still a puppy, but she's almost a year old. She's got a birthday coming up. She's multi poo. She's like my appendage, an extra appendage. She follows me everywhere, so I'm sure she's going to be making some appearances in this. She loves being in the study here, in the reading nook, uh, with me at night when I'm reading. So. Uh, I'm sure you'll be seeing some more of her. So I think that's everything. Um, and uh, so uh, I'm going to give this a whirl. And um, hopefully uh, there's some people out there that will get some from these videos. Just the way I've been enjoying all the other BookTube videos. So see ya.